Now that we understand what HTML is, let's move on to the fun stuff. I'm going to look at the content division element, or in other words, the div. I like to think of a div as a beautiful being that can be anything you want it to be. We can give a div a height, we can give it a width, and we can give it a background color using CSS, or in other words, styling, which we will cover in lectures coming up. We can also use it in a very basic form without styling to hold other elements together. So, for example, we can create a div and put a heading in it and put a paragraph in it, and now these two elements will be grouped together. Just be aware that there might be better elements to use when grouping these together. You might choose a section element, for example. This is because the section element has semantic meaning. Semantics are the meaning of words or phrases in a language. In HTML, which is a language, elements have their own semantic meaning too. So, this means if you use a section element, the browser will pick up its semantic meaning and understand to treat this as a section, on desktops, mobiles, you name it. We will dive into this topic further later on. For now, just know that the div does not have this. It's like a mysterious ghost. Let's see what else we can do to a div in the next lecture.